film that was intended to educate, uh, created by the army, that was intended to educate all these civilians that were coming into military service about what it means, uh, what a world war means. And uh, this was also showed to a, uh, the public in movie theaters. It's only four minutes. And it'll give you a sense of how they viewed the intelligence of the public. Okay, kind of amusing. <laughs> but, you know, for a country going to a uh, massive wa uh, war that of a, on a scale that no one had experienced before, there were all sorts of questions that people had to deal with that was beyond their, the level of their experience. Uh, and the government assumed that they had to be led by the hand while uh, the situations uh, that uh, 
the new situations, as people adapted to the new situations that they're going to, they're going to have to face. It's hard for us, I think, to understand what it would mean for a population to move from a state of relative unpreparedness to learn and learn how to live with war. Uh, we have learned to live for, with war because we've been in a state of permanent war since 1940. Um, this transition, when it happened, was hard because it meant relearning a lot of ways of doing business and also because the requirements of being a global leader required some changes in uh, life in the United States. Now, I thought I would proceed next uh, to uh, some examples of uh, drawn from Life Magazine, of how the war uh, was presented. Now, Life Magazine was the standard for photojournalism. It was the single most read uh, piece of, uh, let's see, yeah, uh, of literature, if you want to call it, writing in any event, in the world. Uh, it was published weekly. Uh, there were, uh, it had six million subscribers uh, and three million newsstand sales every week. It was a pro estimated that 10 people read every copy that came out, which meant that somewhere between uh, probably no around 90 million people in the United States read life every week. The U.S. population at the time was, uh, I think, a little over 130 million. There's no TV program, there's no magazine, there's no movie in the United States today that comes anywhere even close. Uh, Fox News, CNN, they, are, uh, they appeal to just very minor uh, group of people compared to Life magazine. The readers came from all, every walk of life, uh, from all economic brackets and from all racial and ethnic groups. It was one of the few magazines that was read equally by both men and women. It was the most popular print journal in world history ever. Other magazines imitated its format and not only in the United States but around the world. So it established the primary approach for how to present and discuss current affairs and news in the 1940s and 50s, indeed actually up to the 19, early 1960s, 1963, when nightly network television news began using news camera footage. Life magazine was owned and managed by Henry Luce and his wife Claire Booth Luce. Uh, they were the owners of Time, Fortune, Sports Illustrated, and the March of Time uh, Illustrated. Life was their biggest money maker. In 1946, uh, they sold uh, $2.6 2 million of advertising revenue every issue. Multiply that by 52, and you get a sense of their, uh, their av advertising uh, revenue. Uh, they published between 10 and 15,000 photographs a year. That was the sort of foundation of uh, where, uh, what they, how they uh, conveyed uh, the news. And they were avid internationalists and indeed avid uh, proponents of the argument that the United States' future lay in Asia and Latin America. Henry Luce uh, had been the, was the son of missionaries who had been in China. He spoke Chinese fluently, and he was absolutely convinced that the future of the world rested on an, a, a close alliance between the United States and China, uh, and that everyone else would uh, come along as, uh, as China developed into a major industri the major industrial power that he was convinced it would. Uh, the American Century, which I asked you to read, is this articulation of this ambition that the United States should uh, forget about isolationism and take 
uh, take responsibility for reshaping the world to fit its image, and that if it did so, it would find uh, people all over the world eager to, uh, to uh, live a, in an American style of life. They would also find opponents, but he was, uh, he was always argued that if you relied on everyday people in China or Brazil or uh, Africa, the, or Poland for that matter, they would uh, support uh, the Americanization of their country. So, uh, one of, at the beginning of the war, one of the first things that happens is the Japanese Americans were interned who lived on the West Coast. Uh, and this was uh, one of the uh, Life Magazine report on uh, the Japanese arriving at Manzanar. This was published in April 1942. They wanted to emphasize, as I think you can see from the pictures, that uh, even though they're being interned against their will, they're going to be able to lead a normal everyday life. It will be a typical American life. Because the magazine wanted to stress to its readers that even though the Japanese Americans in the United States on the West Coast had to be interned for the security of the nation, the presumption should be that they were still loyal, good American patriotic citizens. Uh, so Life magazine was trying to counter the uh, racial prejudice that naturally was at the root of the, uh, of the internment. And in 1943, once it became clear that the United States was going to prevail in the war, Life magazine began write, uh, publishing articles about uh, Jap Japan Japanese society and Japanese culture that stressed uh, the uh, the many links that the United States and Japan had, the importance of Japan in the post-World War, and that the United States needed to get over the racist rhetoric uh, that it had uh, unfortunately been used uh, uh, by too many as the war began. So uh, this is part of the contradictions that though, you know, they are, uh, at the one hand, the most uh, severe use of government power is clearly racially motivated. On the other hand, supporters of that federal power are also thinking of the need to, uh, 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 to create, turn the United States into a racial democracy. And this is a set of photographs uh, here from Tule Lake, which was where the people who were known, supposedly known sympathizers of the Japanese government were put in a separate uh, um, camp from the others. Uh, and again, the presentation is to stress normality, not, um, not as in the cartoon, uh, the uh, stereotype.